<laughs> yeah, I think I think it should go. I usually have it down to like when it's like a quarter. Sorry, you're hearing shop talk right now. Yeah, <laughs> we make do here. We make do. That's what we do. Uh, um. Well, welcome everybody um, to our um, show this week. We are um, doing our gaming with C21 show. Sorry, I'm a little out of it because we haven't done it in a while. Because spring break. We're, this is our show, Gaming with C21, where we interview people involved with the Center for 21st Century Studies here at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Serious Play is part of Center for 21st Century Studies. Um, and so today we are joined by Nicole Welk Jurger, who's deputy director of C21, which is awesome. Um, we'll introduce ourselves in a moment, um, but I'm gonna read our land acknowledgement first, and then I'm just gonna mention a couple of resources as well. <clears throat> I forgot to pull up the land acknowledgement, so this is gonna be from memory. Um, but we acknowledge that in Milwaukee, we live and work on traditional Potawatomi, Ho-Chunk, and Menominee homelands along the southwest shores of Michigami, which is part of North America's largest system of freshwater lakes, where the Milwaukee, Menominee, and Kinnikinnick rivers meet, and the people of Wisconsin, Sovereign, Anishinaabe, Ho-Chunk, Menominee, Oneida, and Mohican nations remain present. That land acknowledgement is through the Electa Quinney Institute here at UWM. <clears throat> so if you want to learn more about the land acknowledgement or see other versions of it, you should um, Google Electa Quinney. It's E-L-E-C-T-A. Q-U-I-N-N-E-Y, uh, Electric Queenie Institute here at UWM. And there's also <clears throat> a fantastic resource for people who are interested in games and indigenous groups. There's a website called Indigenous Game Devs. You can Google it or just type it into your browser um, and it has lots of great resources. It's run by Megan Blythe Adams, who's, a, who's an indigenous games researcher. So those are some great resources to learn more about that stuff. Um, I'm going to introduce myself and I'll stop talking. So my name is David Kutchik. I'm a PhD student in English here at the university. Um, I guess I'm a candidate now. I have my pre I, my proposal, like my prelims. I'm on my third draft of my dis, uh, my dis proposal, so that's what I am. Um, we'll have Ryan introduce Hi, off camera. I'm Ryan. I'm off camera. I'm a fifth year PhD student, I think, still. Um, writing about games and public rhetorics and... Um, uh, everything, really. Like, you know, my dissertation is about everything. <laughs> what dissertation isn't about yeah. everything? That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be like, I'm trying to be like, not everything. Um, as long as you said, my dissertation is going to be about um, transnational discourses of sexuality and how we understand identity, um, how fans and creators of Japanese video games um, understand identity categories and how transnational media flows affect the construction of identity. Wow. Yeah. You guys are so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically just like, Orientalism. <laughs> like, that's gonna be my thing. Wow, but, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So, and Nicole, we'll let you introduce yourself. And, yes. Yeah. So, my name's Nicole welk Yeager. I'm the Deputy Director of the Center for 21st Century Studies. Dissertations well, well past <laughs> my rear view yeah, mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I guess I'm Dr. Welk Yeager, for those of you I'm who Dr. want to be Welk super formal. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so I've been here at the center since uh, last year. So I, I moved here in January 2021 to be the deputy director here. And I basically help make sure that all the collaboratories are uh, so um, uh, your serious play is, mm -hmm. a, is a collaboratory with the center. Um, and, uh, so I help make sure, sorry, I see like this microphone, we're going to move that, um, make sure the collaboratories are all set. We also have faculty fellows here, make sure that our, uh, conference programming is all set. And then I do my own research on the side. Cool. Uh, and what's, what's your research? Oh yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so my dissertation research now completed it was on a definition well my dissertation was on the history of the animal feed industry Ooh, so i studied wow. what cows ate and wow, why cool. they ate those things <laughs> so. that's cool um when i was in the media studies master's program here there was uh, a student who their their uh, master's thesis was all about farm press 
Nice. Yeah, so. so I'm guessing yeah. they probably read feed stuff. Yeah. Sick magazine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. one of my favorite archive <laughs> sources ever. Feed stuffs. Feed stuffs. Oh, that's yes. awesome. Yeah. yeah. All one word, I take it. Um, oh, yeah. So it depends on what year. Oh, Sometimes okay. it was two separate words. Other times it was mushed together. If anyone is looking for a dissertation topic in the feed stuff. Yeah. Feed, feed industry. Feed industry. industry. Feed Maybe in, like, with rhetoric. Ironically, you know I mean? ironically, with video game English. studies, with video game studies, it's the same debate. Is it two words or one word? <laughs> I'll die. I mean, <laughs> if you, and it's one of those things, as a historian, I'm always worried about archiving. Mm. And these digital resources, I mean, trying to, to figure out how to archive these things, archive them properly, oh, yeah. have the proper names, when to show, like when the names change, For what sure. companies had what game. Yeah. Same with feed stuffs. Which company had what company? Mm -hmm. When did Nestle become Purina and X, oh Y, and God. Z? Um, it's all really hard to trace. And wow, yeah. uh, with digital archives, I'm a little nervous about that. Yeah, that's a, that's a really interesting correlation there because yeah, it's just sort of this content, like not a condensation, but a condensation. Yeah, that's not the word. Yeah, but you like it, it becomes like a big conglomerate. Right. Yeah. 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 So and and or mono monopoly. And like, I, I think yeah. you know, like with any digital media, everything is just becoming sort of there, and you have yeah. to sort. You, you don't buy the thing; you pay for it, access to it. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's like I, I don't know. I'm I'm going on a tangent here because you know dissertations about everything. Yeah, <laughs> dissertations. Everything. You know, feedstuffs is also about. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Like <laughs> they breastfeed animals. But it was, it was interesting. We were Did doing you minor in transitions there. Because was <laughs> <laughs> Earlier today during our lunch on the stream, we were talking about copyright and how difficult it is. Um, we were talking about how, and this really tangentially, because like con media conglomerates, right? We were talking about how um, with video games, like copyright law is really vague and we're not really sure where it is. Mm -hmm. So what ends up happening is a lot of the takedowns that people do for like digital stuff, right? It's like a video game company will take down a video or whatever. It'll mostly be for music because mm -hmm. there's like a long history of music yeah. a and copyright, right. right? Whereas with video games, especially because like it's kind of always been this like international medium where you're, the materials have always been international supply chains, so the production almost has always been international. So it's like, it's just like way complicated. And I'm sure like that's the same thing with feed too, where like it slowly becomes bigger and broader and harder to control. And, and more overlapped and like yeah. just harder to pull apart into individual pieces maybe. This is such an interesting conversation because <laughs> I, I'm all about material entities and the mm. movement of materials. So it's not cool. just bodies, but it's also these various different chemicals and how yep. they get moved. I remember mm. interviewing this one farmer and he had to change the feed that he was working with um, because he was he was buying feed and hay from out west, but mm. he was feeding animals in the northeast. And he was noticing that, um, like his the gut bacteria and his animals, they were getting all kinds of messed up because mm -hmm. they are growing with different kinds of products. And also, like the products are very different grown in the soil in the west than in the northeast. So there's like this material. Um, like reaction that yeah. happens that you can trace uh, on a national scale. I would say like with streaming and stuff and like learning a little bit about this with like some of the work we're doing at the center. I mean, just like doing live streaming like this is really wild to me because <laughs> there's like the international global and like these various different um, ways to I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but it's like it's it's material, yeah. it, but it's because it's digital. It's still there's it's still reliant on so much material to mm -hmm. ensure that this is going out and being viewed by someone oh, yeah. in a room somewhere. Yeah. And I think we sometimes forget that, but it has mm -hmm. a lot of regulatory and mm. um, uh, it just relies on a lot of people, a lot of yeah. labor for it to happen. And I think we take for that for granted sometimes, whether we're 100%. drinking a glass of milk or we're playing a video game. There's yeah. a lot of material stuff that we got to consider there. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So should we anyway. should we get started? Uh -huh. Yeah. Or we can, we can, we can get started. No, which no. I was saying earlier, this is going to be a train wreck because <laughs> it it has been. Probably over 20 years since I played this game. <laughs> That's okay. That is okay. Um, we're going to do a new mode. Um, Whoa. Or a new game. Okay. I think we want to do... In case. 
we use yeah. the dunce stick to this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We have, so we have our, our like run of show and we have some questions too. But it's, it's actually good you had mentioned that. So our first question <laughs> is, why did you choose, so we have like 50 some games that people can choose from to play. Why did you choose Sonic Mania to play? Oh my gosh, this is a, uh, this is a blast from the past. Which one is, which is Sonic, which is Tails? Am I... Who am I? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Okay. We're going to figure it out. Okay. <laughs> For a minute, I thought you meant which one of the sprites is Tails. No. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out in a second. I've never played multiplayer before, tail. so we'll see. Yeah, so usually when I played it, it's like in split screen. And I don't know if it's going to do the oh, split screen. I think you I might think... be thinking of Sonic 2. Right? I, think Sonic right. I think you're right. I think you're right, actually. Okay. Ooh, let, me, let me try something. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, no, you're, no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so there's Sonic Mania, and then I, I, I mean, I mean, we could probably do two player that way. Yeah. It would just be. I have Sonic. It just looked different. On my Switch. Yeah. I, I, mean, I will. I, Mania. Just a few clicks mode. here. A few types there. Boom. I mean, maybe like we could all see each other. I just remember when when someone goes off the screen, then it had the split view because mm. you weren't always in the same spot on the screen. Not what I wanted. We, it might be controller might, does that might happen it here. Might, actually, it might too, because, it might split you know, screen later. Yeah. So oof, I am Tails. Okay. okay. Oh yeah, okay. this is totally Sonic Born Good. too, right? Yeah, so this see? is yep, And I can't see this. myself. <laughs> no, this is oh, the first one. Yeah. yeah. No, this is the second one. Oh really? So yeah. now I can't see Uh oh I, no no it's the first one. You're right. I'm sorry. I can't see myself. It's not split oh. screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because you're playing like the. Uh, oh, I'm the, the sidekick. You're the sidekick. Okay, right, all right. right. I will be sorry. the sidekick. You should let her be. No, it's totally uh, Sonic. fine. I don't need to be Sonic. I always <laughs> like tails. Don't give into the head because I can now. fly with my tail. I always like tails too. I always, I always, always tails it. too. Maybe it's a... <laughs> we're just a tails. We were the, we were the <laughs> tails siblings. team over here. Uh, I was the older sibling, but I was uh, also the. The, the, the female identifying uh, sibling, yeah, yeah. so maybe that also. For sure. Oh yeah, I forgot like this part it. with the blue dots. Yeah, and oh. this is from I think this is from the third one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, with Sonic Mania, so it was made by like, um, basically Sega hired a bunch of like fan game developers to mm. create this. Um, and so what they did was they like incorporated a lot of like old stuff when they're kind of like mashing it together. Yeah. Um, Just different new combinations. Is, it, is there also new new? Yep, there are some new zones and everything. Wow. Like basically fan made things that mm -hmm. have been co-opted. That's really that awesome. That is super cool. I'll get out of this just because. Which I will say That's that like maybe... Sonic the movie was made. Well, no. So there's Mario. What do we do? We count the Mario movies that were made and yes. the Mario TV Oops. show. Yes. Oh, you hurt me. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I can't see where. Yeah. I, I feel like here, no. I want because I saw online somewhere that there was like a split screen option. It might have been like the time. I bet it's the time thing because that's what I was thinking of. Time when, attack. Uh, there's also a race function too two. that I remember. Yeah, maybe this one. Time attack. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, might be competition. Like, yeah. Oh, these were always so hard because, okay. okay. you know, like you were like inevitably playing on such a small screen, and these things move so fast. Items. This is an enormous screen based on the last time I played this game. <laughs> um, do you want do you want to have it a little smaller or a little? Nah, no. Nah. Okay. Let's 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 see Enjoy what this the looks length. like. The... Yeah, I feel this let's is luxury. Spread, yeah. spread out. Oh, so I'll let you choose. So we have like Green Hill Zone from the first one. Oh, amazing. This second one is. Oh, those are like uh, the city. Chemical plant yeah. zone. Uh, yeah, chemical yeah. plant chemical from the plants, second one. And then, and then, yeah. and then the. Uh, oh. Yeah. We got, where's Casino? Uh, uh, that's sure. Which one are you oh. thinking? You know what? Let's just spin, do spin, spin, spin. The, the, the green zones. Okay. That's totally Green hill zone. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, this will be, there's a split screen. This will be intense. There we go. But you were so you were saying, oops, um, that you were like the oldest. Yep, I am the oldest. So were you? Like well, how much? What's the? What's the uh, four year something? difference. Oh, okay, cool. What's been really interesting is like through doing these interviews, I've been realizing a lot of 
Ryan, maybe you should write an article. Ah! Um, <laughs> but a lot of people, especially when we start uh, talking about games, like it always leads back to like the domestic. Oh, 100%, right, it, yeah. right. It um, like every every time where you're like, hey, like why'd you choose this game to bring in? They're like, oh, I played this with like my friends in my living room, right? Or I played this with my my siblings. Um, uh, uh, were your uh, 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 were so. your siblings like big game players, or was it kind of just like a hobby thing? So my this is like it was like family trauma. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, tails fly, oh, no. fly, 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 Should fly, fly. Pause for a moment. Uh, yeah. No, no, <laughs> no. Um, so my uncle actually got the Sega Genesis, and so when I would visit my grandmother, which I did very often, ah crap. Mm. Um, uh, we I would I would play the Sega Genesis in his bedroom and then when my brother was old enough he was more the gamer than i was but it was a way that i had connected with my uncle who is kind of estranged to me now mm -hmm. um and i was babysat a lot Whoa! there we go um <laughs> no no no, no. Uh, <laughs> under his supervision <laughs> no so i was um Babysat my grandmother a lot because my parents were farmers. So oh, cool. mm -hmm. this all goes back to my dissertation project. Uh, it's like you you can't get away from the personal when you're picking a dissertation oh, project. Yeah, There's always course. something that you're like working through, and so that was something. That's um, how you know it, right? Like you yeah. have to you have to be able to know it. Well, there's like a language it. that you have to know ahead of time before you go into an archive or before yeah. you like pull out the literature, that sort of thing. So. Um, I'm gonna so, just favor yeah. this for my 102 course. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> everybody. Keywords. No, seriously. Like, oh, Raymond Williams, right? Keywords. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm not. A, I don't know. <laughs> 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 I'm, Never I'm a mind. Yeah, no, that's that's the. Uh, Oh, I didn't know there was gatekeeping of books and the different plans <laughs> in the English no, no, department. No, not allowed. Gatekeeping, just attention span. <laughs> Reading lists. Fair. See, for me, I'm always like, oh yeah, I, I remember that name. Oh, I mean, like, I'm like, great. I remember Raymond Williams. Sounds great. I thought we were talking about, for a moment, Raymond Chandler, the, the war writer. Right? Oh, oh, come on. Fly, 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 right? fly, fly, fly. Well, anyway, not that guy. <laughs> not who y'all are talking about. I don't know where I'm going. I, didn't, I don't recognize I this. I don't this recognize this at this all. This is one of the new ones. Yeah. Okay. This, this, this one's hard. Alright, let's, let's fly up. Got the little <laughs> hornet there. Yeah. Nope, can't go up that way for some reason. Alright, let's go this So, way. these are not, always not my favorite music levels. Sorry, David. But, no, uh, it's fine. But, uh, but frustrating. Like, I fucking hate these levels. <laughs> Except for in theory. There we go. Anyway, there. Sorry. No, I was gonna say so. Like, so you'd play a lot, but it wasn't necessarily like what you enjoyed doing. Was it more like a way to pass the time? Was it a way? No, I enjoyed it. I guess like I sometimes I wouldn't get as into it. Like I, hmm. like I wasn't super super competitive. Or if there was a storyline, I really wasn't getting into. Like I just you know I'm not into the storyline anymore. Woo! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. Would you say you played? Uh, would you do? You, do you? I mean, it's you know, I'm just asking you. To remember <laughs> 25, 30 years ago. Yeah. But do you think? Would you describe your play as being more goal focused or more just sort of like expressive, like I think uh, it was, like imaginative play while you were playing? Video? I think it was much more social. It was a time for me to interact with my uncle. It was a Got time it. for me to interact with my brother. My brother and I, we um, later got a PlayStation when we were growing up, and I remember we had Dynasty Warriors, oh, and we would play yeah. that together. And then we had Street Fighter on Genesis, we had Sonic, we had Toy Story, which was Ooh. really annoying. Yeah, I, that's that a hard game. It's such a hard game. And I don't even know where I am. <laughs> I'm sure people are like, this woman and her Sonic Tails skills are miserable. Again, 20 years since I played this game. Probably no more, worries. actually. <laughs> I was probably, I don't know how old I would have been. But it was always sort of in, in the context of multiplayer. Yeah, like always in the context of multiplayer. Um, 
Crash Bandicoot. I remember when the Wii came out and like all of us were like, yeah, this is a way to like socialize and have fun. And that's where gaming comes in for me. It's me hanging out with friends, hanging out with family, interacting with them and getting to know each other as we're playing it. And for me, very poorly. <laughs> like, it, just, so, so, it was never about like how good I was or anything like that. Some people get really into it and they're like, oh man, I gotta get that score. Or, oh man, I gotta get to the next uh, section of that storyline. And I'm just like, oh, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna sort of push some buttons here. And, uh, <laughs> I think we'll that's why I happens. like barcades. I really enjoy barcades for this reason. For sure, yeah. So, uh, so I take oh, sorry, but you like sort of more arcadey games then, sort of like I think like so. one and done kind of like pop a corner in. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, like just sort of like, just like playing with the video. Yeah, yeah. I like <laughs> again cool. going to like the material nature of things and some of my dissertation interests and how it fits into like my whole Wait, life shoot. and logic. Yeah. I just did the same thing you did, where I went back into the van. Yep, I, I keep on I just I just was in the van loop for a good bit there. <laughs> <laughs> no one teach on I've never to go in vans. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, oh, I did it go. again. Ah where am I going? Nope. Nope, this doesn't look right. Oh, maybe it is. Ah. Fast and, and to the right I think is just sort of yeah, yeah. Well, 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 thank you, Ryan. I, I, I didn't <laughs> I mean, I think, realize. I just mean, like, I think you're doing great. This looks great to me. No, that I was, lost was, all was, my rings. I was just trying to reassure you. It's like, also, like, my childhood games, and then there's, like, these rings that you collect, and how that is very parallel to all of the, like, like Dragon Ball, and then all the balls oh, they collect. Yeah. There's a lot of collecting gold things that is happening <laughs> in the late 80s and 90s. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, I, think, oh my Boom. Gosh. I made a goal! Oh, am I done? Ooh. Where am I going? Am I waiting? Do I yeah, I still haven't gotten there yet. Alright. Um, Because I was stuck in that loop for a while. Get some lead out, Knuckles. Mm. Oh <laughs> gosh. I've never won anything. Tails, <laughs> Tails, Tails is sleepy. Oh gosh, I only have... How did you how did you crack that thing? It kept on hurt, hurting me. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, you're almost there. I don't know if I make it. So in all of your social gaming and playing, do you are you are you typically drawn to digital games over uh, analog games or yeah. other kinds of games or? Man, I'm trying to think here. Which were which are your your, your play? Uh, no, I I was yeah. always playing card games with friends. Yeah. Uh, we would play oh, Palace. We would play. I don't know. I don't, I don't know Palace. Is that a card game? Palace was a card game. Um, Oops, sorry. Oh, oh. sorry. Oh, that's I hit okay. the wrong button. It's all right. Oh, I didn't realize I wanted knuckles. All right, there we go. You can hit B. You can hit B if you want. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is B? <laughs> it's like what is B? Oh, this person does not know how to play video games. This poor, poor person. No, it's. <laughs> that was the best of us. Um. Yeah, but I guess maybe that also answers. Like, so I, I again played digital video games when I was younger card games. I, I like playing I'm so, so old school. Play charades Three, with me. Two, like, <laughs> I love charades. Like, I don't know. Charades and uh, Cranium and Pictionary. Mm, like, th those are my my jam. And again, they're all social games. So that's what I do with my game. What is that <laughs> thing? Oh. No. No, 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 no. Getting out oh, of there. Like oh, don't like. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I've never been this place. Is this a new one too? <laughs> yeah, this is a new one. I just love the aesthetic of it. Oh yeah, the ice cream? That's so cool. Alright, flying. I'm cheating because I'm Tails. So, for, um, <laughs> for, I was, I was just thinking, like, when you got the Wii, did, did oh, you I get, or get did your the, friends? I did not get the Wii, oh. no. <laughs> we were poor farmers. Oh. I went to friends' houses and saw the Wii. Mm. I was very excited about that. 
there's a game on the Wii. I don't know if you would have played it, but um, it's called um, Warrior Wear Smooth Moves. What? It was so fun. It was just like a bunch of like little mini games where you'd like have to like use, you know, it was, it was just the wildest things, but it was very fun. I was just going to keep it. Oh, yeah. oh, I no do. No joke, I actually, I actually got to buy that over the summer when I was working at Half Price Books. It's so good. <laughs> so you are unlocking so many child memories right now. <laughs> um, I do, so we didn't have like a Wii or anything like that, but we did, I, my grandmother did give me a fancy thing. You're saying like there's a trend here, your grandmother has the hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. um, is it, I, I'm going to get this so incorrect, there is, is it Nintendo DS? Yeah. The, yeah. the like handheld that yeah. was like the, the big it was like a bigger screen and then you put the little it was kind of like a Game Boy but it was the Nintendo version of the like, Game Boy sort of clapped open like a like Man, a, I just remember there was like a Disney racing game on that and that was pretty that was pretty cool Disney has a pretty good track record I think with, uh, with, with good licensed games not not all of them are winners. Whoa. You were talking about Toy Story earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I remember a Bug's Life. Oh, wait. Bug's Life isn't Disney, so... Yes, it is. Yeah, it's... Yes, it is. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah, Disney owned them by then. Are you sure? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, wait. No, I'm thinking of Ants. Oh, Ants is different. Oh, I had the Ants Game Boy game that was so hard. Yeah. Anyway. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there was like a Disney so racing game, game that was before Kingdom Hearts. Mm. Uh, but it was like using all of the... Did we do that at the same time? That was cool. Sonic. I was there already. Oh, you were already. You were late. And I didn't even. <laughs> it was only 14 that. seconds. I, the drama in that moment when I couldn't tell if David was gonna let you. Know, <laughs> was no. You deep. totally let me win the first time. If it wasn't, it wasn't even a competition. It's just like who makes the goal first. I, I could see it in his eyes. He was like, uh, I was like, uh, no. I <laughs> Like, I would get this done in 10 seconds, Nicole, if you were <laughs> no, no. Not at all. I, I used to be a very competitive child and person, but I have since... Why am I getting stuck in this trampoline? Oh, right. This is... Yeah. Oh, come on. I'm just kidding, baby. <laughs> so you were very competitive. I was as a kid, yeah. So you did, um, like, solo gaming? Um, yeah, but I mean... With games, I wasn't as competitive with, like, video games. Well, actually, I kind of was. Um, I remember there was one time um, my friends and I, we were playing Mario Party on the GameCube, and we didn't have enough controllers, so the last, contr the last controller I had that I had to play with as my handicap was that um, it was a controller that only had... It was... Um, it was like a D and D dance pad, but it was Mario uh, themed because there was a GameCube oh, game for Mario, and um, yeah. the only button that worked was the A button, and I still won. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I was a very competitive child well. um, and young adult. Not so much anymore. I think being a teacher for a year helped me cool off a little bit, <laughs> temper my expectations. I think it really does sort of teach you to not care. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know. Or oh my what you gosh, about, what is yeah. that thing? I have no idea. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I just chose a random one. I know this is from uh, it's another a, game. It's, it's a, like the CDI or something. It's Peter... Uh, poinsettia. It's Peter Poinsettia. Peter, instead of PD Piranha? Yeah, no, no, no you can't say that. You can't say that. That's, that's not yeah. this. Alright, Peter I'm Poinsettia. Stuck. No, 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 no. Where am I going? Nope, don't hurt me. Nope, that is not good. I just smell like a roll of tomato with teeth. I don't really know. How do I get out of this monstrous area? No, let me yeah, some of, some of these, it's like, I can't tell if this is a maze, if this is, like, just a, you know... It's probably good game design that I'm, I'm a little confused as to where I'm going. You know, I'll be honest, I, uh, I, 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 I always struggle with Sonic levels that are like this. But my favorite ones are pretty linear. Mm -hmm. Just because I feel like I'm missing so much stuff, or like there's just so much stuff. I am stuck. And like, get out of here. with Sonic, you just kind of want to, you want to hold left. Or yeah, hold you just right, want to go you know? fast, yeah. You gotta go fast. But you also, it's like, do you go up or do you go down? So you go, because like, the other thing is if you played 
Mario and then you go to Sonic, everything goes up. Oh, and Mario, yeah. everything goes down. <laughs> so it's like... Because you're going underground versus trying to get up into the... What? Now I'm I'm just stuck in this area. Like, David, please, like... <laughs> oh, oh, so so go back, go back. Okay, do I have um, to go on that thing? Yeah, so okay. there's... Oh my Ooh. gosh! No. <laughs> okay, so, so, so go chill, where that thing that looks like a record. Yeah. Go over to it. Oh, no. um, yeah. And then hold down an A. Down on the uh, control. Down stick. first. Oh, oh there you go. There you go. You got it. Yeah. Yep, and it opened up that path for you. Uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> No, that's the right path. That was the right way. That was the right way? Yeah. Yep, I'm dead. I died. So much death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, video games are getting their, like, big break. I know there's so many movies and TV shows that are based on video games. Yeah. It's super... I very much enjoyed The Last of Us. Although I didn't oh, play I the game. I, I watched my boyfriend play the game. I myself did not play the game. But, um... Uh-oh. And there are no rings. So, um, you were saying, so it's like more social for you, right? Mm -hmm. So, do you find yourself still playing games now, or is it more kind of like young adult, um, like early 20s kind of thing? Oh, um, so right now I've been in the magical, wonderful world of, um, well, dying his tails right now. <laughs> for me. Woo. Oh no! <laughs> Just like all the rings are gone. <laughs> uh, I am in the magical, wonderful world of I have a four-year-old, and I have now been introduced to the wide world of children's games that are changing. Mm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure they're great. Great. I'm there, sure they are. there are a lot of um. So speaking to the competitive nature of things. One of the things that's super interesting is that there are more and more children's games that are made to be collaborative. And there's oh, this cool. like really big trend on collaborative gameplay mm. that you all are trying to work toward a common goal. So those are really cool because I was used to Candyland and Parcheesi oh, yeah. and Checkers and all that sort of thing. And now... What do they play on? Uh, sorry, what does your... Uh, kid play on? Oh, no, no digital stuff right now. All just analog all stuff. analog stuff. Yeah. Oh, I'm frozen. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I mean I don't I don't know the the state of kids games, but I know this you know the sort of general state of board games, and it is I think well it's interesting. I want to see some some uh, studies done in maybe twenty or thirty years. Uh, if there's any sort of difference in you know uh, a kid's general demeanor. Or Towards life, when mm. you have games that sort of do that versus something like Candyland, it's just you know how is the is the card loaded? How is the deck loaded? And yeah. it's all uh, stochastic contingency. Yes, yeah. and I'm sure I'm sure you know from experience that like it's also dependent on the child too, because it's like you'd be like, oh yeah, let's play this collaborative game, and then they're like, no, I want all these. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like yeah, you can still have a kid yeah. who wants to. Like still control everything. Um, that's, uh, yeah, that, that's like there's that's the play, right? Yeah. Like you can be bad at it, but still play. <laughs> I'm very bad. Or you at could, or you could play it and go against like the designed yeah. intent. Right. Mm -hmm. for it, you know? yeah. So just having that space. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like just thinking about the games that I played when I was a kid before I really got into video games was you know, like Game Land and like Hypo Cheerio. <gasps> oh, I remember that. Hypo like, you know, Cheerio. It was, it was a way to spin something. It was just sort of a tactile, like, uh, oh, I don't know, sort of an overdone toy, I suppose. Anyway. No, I definitely, I agree with the tangent. I, I remember when I was a kid, there, I didn't play, um, a whole lot of computer games, but we had a lot of, like, educational computer games. Yeah. So, um, some of the, like, I don't know if you know, like, Freddy Fish or anything like that. And you'll spin through it. Oh, uh, okay. Freddy Fish. I, I he's uh, Pajama Sam too, right? Yeah. They're friends. Yeah, they're all oh, from like the hold same. Down. And yeah. uh, down. Throw oh, down. Yeah, and then hold the A button. Yeah, I'm pushing the it. The other button, maybe. 
There we go. Uh, 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 I got it. No. And then when we... Oh, or oh, maybe not. not. I'm the liar. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, maybe try... Uh, is there another way? I'm, I'm trying to get out of this, like, weird... Weird iceberg area. Weird. Yeah, some of these are a little complicated. <laughs> a little too complicated. Yeah. Oh, there's a button. How you gotta make everything so complicated? There we go. So oh. It's kind of weird because I'm having trouble seeing like which how to get from one level to another. Yeah. It's just one of the things that like always um, nice. confused me and upset me about Sonic games. Nice. It was like it's hard. It's hard what to figure out where exactly you're supposed to go. Yeah. 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 No, but you know, like it's a it's a great game to veg to. Yes. Um, uh oh, I think I'm stuck in the same area. Ah, the tree. Okay. All right. Oh, I think yep. I, oh, yep. You are in the same <laughs> same conundrum. Yeah. 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 All right. If you figure this out, David, Can I will you... follow you. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're che cheating his tail. <laughs> you know, you have to do that. So I think I think maybe if you if you spin into oh. the big thing, yeah, hit, and then hit down. Oh, up here. Okay. So ice. You want to get to the ice thing? You want to turn oh. into ice? Yeah. Oh. And then the ice will. Oh. I opened it oh, for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Um, okay, so it's open now? Yeah. I would have never right. There we go. Done that. Nope. I would have never figured that out. In a, I, I played this game like <laughs> seven years or five years ago or something, so I like sometimes remember some of the random things. Whoa, that was like. I can oh. still find you some secret rings in like the underground lava pit. Yeah. Like one. <laughs> I, I can't remember much of what I did. Oh morning, my god. But <laughs> you can that. do that. Okay. These weird bug things. There it goes. Right. Oop. Oh no, I wanted those rings. I think the Sonic series as a whole might be my favorite video game music. Oh really? The, I oh, that so that is a very controversial good. statement. There is a lot of good video music. Yeah, I'm not saying it's the only good one, but it's my it's my personal thing. I at least I think it's just it's, it's so, so like uh, New Jack Swing sounding. You know? like, it's yeah, definitely of a time, I guess. Well, early, early 90s. Oh, there was yeah. a rumor, which I think I believe was confirmed to be true, that Michael Jackson helped compose some of the tracks for Sonic 3, really? but he was uncredited. I believe they said they said that that was true. Somehow they learned that that was true. I think he confirmed it at some point. Yeah. So yeah, I definitely remember it. It's, I, I think it's like rumored that he helped with 1 and 2 as well. But mm. like but 3 a, was the one that was confirmed. Yeah. I think he probably did more in 3. Yeah. David, I'm never going to get to you. <laughs> I think you're almost there. Well, like, I actually. Yeah, Am I almost there? Around. This feels like I'm in the wrong spot. I'm not trying to spread misinformation about Michael Jackson anymore. There you go. Or Sonic 2. Oh my gosh, come on. You good? There we go. Uh oh. Yep, there you go. There you go. <laughs> As in I was going to say, cube. I thought it was there. Oh my gosh. That's pretty cool. You know what? But, um, yeah, it's, it definitely has that, like, pop, jazz, funk to it, which is, which is cool. That yeah, is true. I miss that. I'm ready for that to come back. I, I'm a sucker for Legend of Zelda, but that's because I grew up with it as a kid. So that's the big game that you're really excited about yeah. that's mm -hmm. coming out? Yeah. Oops. Oops. There we go. Yeah, this is so good. This is classic. Hydro City. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't from remember. Or from yeah, Knuckles. This is the. Uh, can you drown this in this from one? Both. I can't yeah. remember. Are you I breathing? Think, I think you, you breathing? can drown in you this one. You can drown. Okay, I'm trying oh, to. Oh yeah, you got to. Oh yeah, they got to get the bubbles. That's right. It's gonna get. It's gonna get really. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, 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 there's. <laughs> yep. Yep, I'm gonna die. Look at that bubble, right? Right. Uh, oh. Oh. oh, I can drown. Okay. I think just... I think drowning is a major sort of fear of mine because of Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic and Lara Croft, man. And like, oh. when you would drown in one of the early two games, that was. No. Awful. Ooh, there's I a. Go in there there's again. a call for book chapters about 
the thirtieth anniversary of Lara Croft. And I'm trying I'm trying to do a little more um like global transnational media study stuff. So I'm thinking like maybe I can do some research about like adaptations or like translation. You know, I was just reading uh, on Twitter, so take that for whatever. <laughs> but hey, apparently the the um the original idea is that Laura Croft would be Laura Cruz and she oh. would be uh Latin. Hmm. Latinx. Interesting. Oh, yeah. I had not heard of that before. Latinx? I don't know. Laura Cruz. Um yeah, I mean like take that for what it's worth. I don't it's know how verified it is, but you could look I'm it. now remembering that I was really bad at the water one. Yeah. Water levels are just terrible. I was really I I I was remembering that as though I was like in the water. I was like, huh. Escort missions and water levels. I could live without. I like both of them. I'm weird. I'm I'm wild. I'm wild. Big old goose eggs. That's okay. Big old goose. Eggs. But again, I'm not. I'm not gonna be sore. I'm not gonna be sore. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a sore loser. If you if you need if you're a, if you were a competitive person and you just want to like beat the crap out of another person in a video game, contact me. I will like, totally... <laughs> I will I am totally cool being the person. I think the mic's also kind of like tripping me up because I'm looking at Oh sure. Oh, yeah. It's totally fine. We can pull that forward. Not maybe. that that's going to like mic make mic my too. gameplay any, <laughs> any better. <laughs> it's gonna continue this is to be the, hard. Where the game shark comes out. <laughs> She's no, ace. no, 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 no. <laughs> if, if my brother were watching this, he'd just laugh and he'd be like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> he was super competitive. Nope. Yep. That's not happening. <laughs> you mentioned that you're, uh, that you grew up in a farming family. Yeah. Uh, whereabouts is your family from? Pennsylvania, Central ah, PA. Mm. I, I grew up in Lancaster and I say it the correct way. I don't know. Lancaster, not Lancastershire. It, it's not Lancaster. Or Lancaster. Oh. It's Lancaster, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'm so far removed from this area that I didn't even know that was like a debate. Lancaster, not Lancaster. Lancaster. Now I know. I'm going to sound so yeah. cool. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, um, I feel like with any word that derives from British, it's like, it's always shorter than you think. <laughs> Lancaster. So what, like, what ended up about, like, doing a PhD or, like, an academic kind of career? Like, what kind of drew you to that if you grew up in this farming wow. community? Wow. That was, like, a really deep question. Sorry. <laughs> you should not call this gaming with C2. It's uh, therapy, therapy with C2. <laughs> we can do therapy. That's okay. <laughs> what kind of farmers were your family? We were dairy farmers. They're dairy farmers. Um, but I did, so I like telling the story, uh, to save up for college, because my parents didn't have the money. Mm -hmm. Um, I, what am I hitting? Oh, I'm hitting the log. Um, I, uh, raised pigs, mm. uh, to be able to pay for my college education. So I would buy a little piglet, and I would raise that little piglet, and then at our county fair, I would sell the little, then big hog. And that would be my money that I saved up for wow. college. And I went to uh, Temple University in Philly. Wow. And I paid for it with my pig money. And everyone thought it was so hilarious. Wow. <laughs> they were like, who does that? Who, uh, who sells pigs <laughs> to be able to go to college? I'm like, I guess me. <laughs> that's but that's legit, though. And, like, nod and say, that'll do. That'll yeah. do, pig. Yeah, I was very aware of their mortality. Oh, yeah. Because they were going straight to the truck for yeah. uh, the slaughterhouse after I am. Oh, no, water. Just Why am I here? Just naming, like, different adjectives for savory. So, we... Like, whoa, you're there, crispy. There was a moment where we did that. My first pigs were called Buttons and Marshmallow because uh, oh. I was nine years old and yeah. very naive. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, thanks for letting me win, Jake. No, I'm I'm legitimately stuck right now. I don't know. She's had a breakthrough. <laughs> the breakthrough is I'm tails. You can, <laughs> you can beat the levels just by flying I'm, away. I'm legitimately like in through you. in <laughs> a like Her broken tails. area. <laughs> and maybe your cholesterol. No, I don't know. What is the uh, maybe marshmallow still? Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. 
but I had Bonnie and Clyde, Marshmallow uh, and Button. Always pairs? Uh, they were always pairs, oh, yeah. yeah. You like could that. only have two in the fair, and you could mm, sell two. I see. Uh, were you into, like, 4-H and all that? Then? Oh, yeah. I was 4-H. I was 4-H president when I was oh, in high nice. school. That was lovely. Um, yeah, I did sewing when I was younger. Very domestic. Very, like, gender binary. 4-H mm -hmm. in rural middle of nowhere PA. Uh, but I learned a lot of skills, like how to sew a button. That's 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 useful. Um, small thing. That's great. And to how to hem pants. Oh Ooh. yeah, big well, yeah. Yeah. So I, I have like very weird set of skills, which Anne, the director of the center, is like, what? What have you like? <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Like I, for my kid's birthday party, I did balloon animals, and I uh, crafted a bunch of balloon animals for her. Fun. So maybe at the open house next year at the center, I will do balloon animals for everyone. Amazing. Because, I mean, we have a popcorn maker, so we'll be a popcorn maker. And balloon I would be impressed if you could just blow up a balloon animal balloon. I've never been able to I can't to do, do that before. with my body. I gotta use a bike pump because I was like, I can't do that with my yeah. body. <laughs> <laughs> the air in my lungs do not have that capacity. Well, that makes me feel better because yeah, I've never. Been able yeah, to see me this either. No. I'm like, what is the trick here? There's a reason I was Insert a percussionist. Air, right? yeah. Oh, did you play the drums? Yeah, I was. I was. I have a percussion minor actually. What? Um, yeah. Um, I'm excited because UW Eau Claire it's their hundredth year, um, and so at the end of April the they're doing an alumni band for like a ce the celebration, um, and so. I get to perform at the brand new Performing Arts Center in Eau Claire Very with cool. like a, a, a alumni band. So like a bunch of my percussion friends and I are all getting together and drumline. We're having a party at our professor's house, <laughs> just like old times. Uh, so what? That's which, liable, David. <laughs> which instrument was your favorite? Oh no, I'm I, stuck by the. Oh. I always loved mallets. Um, so the marimba is always my favorite. Oh. Um, love the marimba. Cool. I, uh, and I knew how to do four mallets. I, was, I felt cool. I'm like, I know like how to do four. Yeah, oh yeah, I play bass drum too. Do we fall down or do we go up? David? I think we can fall down, if I'm not mistaken. Amber and I went to Antiques on Pierce yesterday. Uh, messed around for her birthday. And uh, at the very top, they have all of these. I mean, it looks like they raided an old uh, Chinese restaurant, you know? Mm. Like, there's just all of this stuff. But anyway, they've got like some gigantic Oop. bass drums that they don't mind yeah, it's I very I oh, I love playing a concert bass. Um, I love all of the auxiliary and like the small percussion because like figuring out what sounds good with like what mallet and what beater is just like so fun for me. Um, yeah, you're very interesting. You're a very interesting mind, David. <laughs> um, like, but I, I played I played I marching bass drum right. for for two years in college. Um, yeah. Wow. Wow. But anyway, this is about you. <laughs> um, so, so you you went to college at Temple, right? What what did you uh, study there? I was an art history anthropology double major. Ooh, um, very cool. My final year there, I had finished both my degree requirements, so I just took glass blowing and uh, ceramics classes nice. for like, my senior year while I was doing capstone. You're a conservative talking point in one, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> you're cons no, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what are kids learning these days? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I love art. I actually wanted to do a BFA, and I was uh, accepted to the BFA program oh gosh, at Tyler School of Art. Ooh. Um, but wow. I just, um, I chickened out. Mm. I chickened out, and well. I, I didn't do it. Yeah. And so I did art history, because I was like, well, that's better. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's more <laughs> um, I was really into languages, so I was like, oh, yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I only put book one because I'm an English major. Yeah. <laughs> I share that, what like, no prospects. What do you do with the BA in English? Yeah. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> you no, know, like, in the I'm game. Still stuck in the, I'm still stuck in the square, <laughs> this square area. I, I went up oh, the you whole are too. way. I went up the whole way, and then there's nothing there to oh. go. To go, like, There's nowhere to go, and I'm very confused. Okay, let me try, let me try this. Oh, you have to go on the skateboard thing. 
No! <laughs> okay, <laughs> I can fly, but not that far, and I have, okay. like, three oh, I, things. I escaped. Um... And then, did you go to, did you do grad school right after? Was it like a working? Oh, yeah, I went to grad school right after. But here's the, the fun part of all of it. I was, and this um, might relate to uh, other UWM grad students here. I, I worked like four jobs to be able to get through mm, my master's lovely. program and my PhD program. Mm. Um, and even though like you get compensated a bit for the PhD, like mm. I, I was still, I was adjuncting, I was, doing like freelance writing stuff like oh gosh no 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 you're almost there you're almost there you're almost there I'm stuck I'm stuck I'm stuck oh no Tails got tired could I have flown this entire time? I think so. Up to that <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I am there you go. furious <laughs> furious I could have done that the entire time. Yep. No. No. <laughs> I am so mad. <laughs> nope. No. Nope. 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 It's not happening. Oh, man. Nope. I'm gone. It's all good. <laughs> I I totally understand your plight. When I when I first started here at um, UWM uh, in the master's program, I worked a two, 15 hour a week job at the cinema being the manager there mm -hmm. so yeah but you know all those skills are super transferable i worked for the philadelphia museum of art for quite a number of years doing their public programming there cool. i uh, worked for the city of philadelphia and i was there for their like public arts two, program one, was helping go. with cfps and working with artists to commission all kinds of cool stuff how do i there we go Oh, you can go back. Yep, yeah, and there. But yeah, there we go. Thank you. I just stole it before you got it. <laughs> I also worked at a, uh, a theater, and I was an usher at a theater mm. for some time. So that was that was fun. That was the, how I got to see. Um, oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm like. No. I, I, am I a multitasker? N not no. really when it comes to game. <laughs> Some people are really good at like playing the game and talking and like they can compose music and maybe like, I don't know, like be a drummer at the same time. David. <laughs> David. <laughs> I promise I'm not good at everything. Mm, debatable as I'm here like stuck in this little <laughs> underground I mean, I what's this is this is from I think the second one if I'm not mistaken. So I've I've like played the actual one before. Oh and yeah, then... yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, right. This one this was a, like a late stage. It's pretty hard. Yeah. Sonic um, wins. The winner is. But yeah, I guess like all the transferable skills that I had from being a theater usher. Oh, I was a Segway tour guide too. Oh wow. People, wow. people always love that story. That's awesome. Where Segway tour guide. Segways were really. Uh, popular and so I gave tours in Philly for <gasps> years and years. Oh, Teleporters amazing. only. Let's try that, it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know yeah. what that is. Oh. It's gonna switch, Let's you, do Green Hill Zone. switch you places. Back mm -hmm. I, I hope so. <laughs> that would be super cool. Alright. Right. Okay. Let me just see. <gasps> oh it does. Oh my gosh it oh. does. Okay. Amazing. Um, and where, sorry, where did you get your degree, your master's? So my master's degree was at Brandeis University. Okay. Um, and it was in anthropology. And I did a thesis on the Amish community. Mm. For that. I actually thought, ooh, oh. there, <laughs> that was fun. I like this. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was going to do this big thesis, and I did this thesis project when I was an undergrad on the mural arts program. Mm. Uh, that's why I was working in the city of Philly. I was really interested in public art and graffiti. Um, that whole history, as well as like the idea that murals are a quote-unquote better kind of art, or a more like communal kind mm. of art than graffiti art. So that was something that puzzled me, and I was really curious about. And um, But when I moved to 
Boston. I kind of lost track of the graffiti artist and the mural artist that I was working with. So I was like, man, what am I going to do for this anthro degree? Um, and I ended up uh, asking a family member that I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And they're like, well, um, I have this connection with a feed company. Would you like to just like ride along with them? And they, and they, they work with the Amish that maybe that's like, quote unquote, like exotic enough for your anthropologist uh, working with the Amish community. I was like, sure, I'll try it. And um, I went on these ride-alongs and holy crap, it was so freaking fascinating. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sure. Listening to Amish farmers talk about using like... Oh yeah, uh, that you want to go like, back. Oh, yeah. I do want to go back Yeah, there. you want to go back this way. Okay. And then I'll like lead you down. Oh, I see. Why are you still in that? There we go. Um, uh, hearing farmers... Whoa, what Dirty. was that? That was mean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, nope, nope, come on, fly. There you go. Then, yeah, I have, I have zero rings, so I'm gonna. You made it. Alright. Right. Still like with that music. It's like really yeah, dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just say no. I haven't done yeah. this one yet, I don't think. U using um, genetically modified or genetically engineered uh, seeds and the debates that the Amish were having about that and mm, using, um, yeah. at the time they were using bovine growth hormone for like some of their um, dairy farming. And that was really interesting to hear those debates happening in the Amish community because some of them were similar to what was happening, you know, in 2012, 2013 and other, in like the non-Amish community and others, it was very based on the Ordnung and how the Amish were understanding mm. their their life and livelihood and their the place of technology in it. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, um, so yeah. So and then I was like, well, I'm really interested in that. I really got into Bruno Latour. Ooh, yeah. Um, I was like, oh, maybe I'm like into science studies, and that's what I did. So I finished a PhD in the history and sociology of science. Um, I was the odd one out uh, doing ag history in that world. Um, ooh, look at these. Look at these. They're pretty. They're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I, I think that's interesting, though, right? Because. I think especially with like your your stud your study with the Amish, right? I think like the common parlance is like, oh, they just don't have science. You know what I mean? Yeah. Rather than like they have a different approach to science. Yeah. Or like a different discourse. Or like however you want to qualify it, right? It's like Yeah, the way they talk about technology, it's I think the intentionality of it is so special because they're very mindful of if you're gonna use this technology, if you're gonna adopt it, what does it mean for the relationships around you? And if you're adopting that, what do you lose in an interpersonal relationship with that adoption? And they're very mindful of that. Um, that's really interesting. Of that conversation in a way that I think some of us take for granted. Yes. Ooh, what am I? Ooh, Ooh. a lot of. <laughs> I think take it for granted so much that we don't even like recognize that that is part of their process. You know, mm -hmm. like David said, we just sort of assume. Lock on. Based on very limited knowledge, but yeah, they don't use electricity. Yeah. Well, and some do, some Ooh, don't. Yeah. You can. Yeah. Um, I, I would be on farms and they'd be using electricity, but it's because they were um, renting the property. So they were allowed to. So mm. there's something that's really interesting about ownership and when it's appropriate to use technology. If you own it, if you own a building, you shouldn't use it because then you're risking the interpersonal relationships you might have with your family. Interesting. Okay. Um, and then what that can look like. So, in, in a sort of, like, socialized, uh, like, temporal, like, realm, like, it's nighttime, so everybody's gonna come into the house, and, like, there's not gonna, you know, like, people are gonna be here and accounted for, yeah, and, I think, and then go to bed, and then wake up. Yeah, I think it's also, like, just, like, considering how your body is regulated by the sun, and where your, how the, your occupation, mm. your lifestyle is kind of 
in that realm too. Um, the, the the easiest example I have is cell phone use. Mm -hmm. So they'll use cell phones for business, but not for family. So um, some farmers will, Amish farmers will have cell phones. Not many do, but they won't text, and it's mainly for knowing the weather and mm -hmm. calling like people who like the veterinarian and that sort of thing. And even like the the telephone and the cell phone versus cell phone debate. It was really big in the community, and so instead of having telephones in their house, they decided to have telephone booths outside their homes mm. um, because they were worried that like people. And this is very gendered too. They're like, "Oh, the wives are going to be sitting at the kitchen oh. talking on the phone, and that's going to change the dynamic of the family." Um, mm. With that decision, and, and just the way that they talk about it, there's just a intentionality of thinking about the consequences of technology that's really fascinating I to me. Anthropology is so freaking cool. If I could do it all over again, maybe you'd go there. Yeah. yeah. I would say that a lot of what English does is very interdisciplinary in that yeah. the like ethnographic methods you can use. I don't know every. Every person I've talked to about their uh, English dissertation, the work is matters in history. Yeah. There's historians in English. Where on earth am I? Yeah, you want to go up. Yep. I just David, I, I knew because I went to, that way. <laughs> trying to help me as we're like out of time here. Oh, like, oh, it is four o'clock already. Oh my gosh. Are there any upcoming C21 events that you're excited for? Yes. That's the last thing. There is so much going on this week. <laughs> yes, there is. Yes, there is. So thank you for taking the time to come in and talk to us about it. Yeah, no problem. Again, vegging on uh, my really horrible, horrible Sonic skills. <laughs> yeah, I'm just totally going to put this down because <laughs> Tails is done. Um, so... Um, Thursday, we have our Nourishing Trust Roundtable, our second one, uh, Trust in Theory. Very excited about that. It's going to be a conversation with Sherry Rivers, uh, Marty Scales, and, um, and Elizabeth Gabriel. And we're going to be talking about the philosophies and the foundations that underpin how we interact with the non-human world. Um, and that'll be there's a zoom for it correct yes so i i think you guys might be we're live we're live streaming it, it. yeah we're gonna live stream um, it here but if you want to be like closer to the action you yeah can get the so zoom you from can the you can yeah. register via zoom and um there's going to be a um, sign language interpreter and um yeah it's we uh, we co-host this with uh, milwaukee turners it's a really awesome event um so that's happening on thursday and then friday we have a Friday right day that's focused on the thesis and dissertation writing. I will Basically, be there. Basically, <laughs> we will have snacks and coffee, and I will have a like buzzer. I'm still th thinking through this, but structured writing time. Mm -hmm. um, either it's going to be separated by rooms, so the library has one kind of structure. Um, the uh, women and gender studies lounge might have another kind of structure. Just making sure that people have time to write cool. and can think about their writing. And then on Monday play to the polls yes yeah that cool be yeah. yeah that'll be in the wisconsin ballroom which is exciting so we got we got some games the other day that we're gonna have to play yeah and, and oh my gosh the elections next week already Jesus. yeah the elections next week yep. yeah yeah so Lots of exciting stuff happening. Yeah. Thank you so Absolutely. much for coming in Thanks today. So Thank, Thank you, you for um, letting me play. That yeah. was a lot of fun, even though it was, I'm really terrible. But oh. you know what? That's my that's, that's my jam. Point. Again, if you need uh, someone that's <laughs> very competitive to chillax a little bit, <laughs> just call me down from the hallway and be like, Nicole, can you play with this person? And just let them win Guide a million them. times. Guide them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks,